after a grueling and turbulent 4-hour flight, I finally arrived in Singapore Changi Airport. Now, this wasn't my final destination. Transit ko lang ulit ang Singapore because I was actually going to Bangkok. Around 3.30 p.m. pa ang flight ko to Bangkok, so I decided to get out of the immigration and visit Jewel Changi, which I wasn't able to visit when I last went to Singapore. And since Jewel was still closed as its opening hours are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., I went to have breakfast na lang sa only open coffee shop in the mall, which was CBTL. I then went to rest in one of their seats so I could also charge my electronics and by 8 a.m., I went to their lounge to further wait for Jewel Changi to open. This lounge is located in the ground floor of Jewel Changi, just outside the arrival gate of Terminal 1. 8 a.m. siya nagbubukas and it is considered a public lounge meaning you don't need a reservation to be able to avail their services. They also offer warm meals, free flowing snacks, and a shower to freshen up before your next flight. Although, since it's public nga, they only allow 3 hours of access per guest. I didn't check in my luggage through to the final destination, I dropped it off through their early check-in counter which would allow you to check in for your flight at least 24 hours beforehand, therefore giving you the confidence to explore Jewel without worrying about your coming flight. Finally, it was time for me to visit the most talked about rain vortex in the middle of Jewel Changi. Sobrang daming tao since Jewel is technically not part of the airport anymore. It is actually already outside the arrival area and is open to the public. That's why you need to pass immigration to visit Jewel when you arrive in Singapore. I heard na sobrang ganda ng bottom ng rain vortex so I went down 3 floors or 4 to be able to witness it and indeed it was really beautiful. Now, Jewel also has attractions located in the topmost floor, which I had trouble finding because I wasn't expecting Jewel to be a huge mall. I bought a ticket to the HSBC Canopy Bridge. Hindi naman mahaba yung bridge, but it provides a beautiful view of the rain vortex from above. Glass floors din siya, which kind of gave me skywalk vibes, just a little less scary. I then went inside the canopy walk, which was actually free. So, parang rooftop so garden good. siya. While walking around, nagaring yung alarm nila, and I was training to listen ko anong nangyayari, pero hindi ko maintindihan. So, I assumed it was just a drill or something. And fortunately, wala namang kakaibang nangyari after I went out of the canopy walk. I also bought a ticket for the walking net and my goodness, hindi ako na inform na exercise pa lang mag walking net. I had to literally crawl up the net so I could cross to the other side. It also gave the illusion of a spider web with the entire five floors visible below you, which was kind of scary, but it was fun.
After I had my share of fun and exercise so <laughs> jewel attractions, I went back down to the lobby, papuntang departure area, to await my flight to Bangkok. Approximately two hours after, and an hour back sa clock, I finally arrived in Bangkok through Suwanapum Airport. It was an almost full flight, so sobrang tagal nami naka-disembark after landing. Jody and Rene were already at the airport to pick me up, but it took a while for my luggage to come out, kaya natagalan din ang paglabas namin ng airport. Siyempre, dahil dinner time na din, una naming pinuntahan on my arrival ang Jod Fair's night market nila which served food and sold different merchandise. It is located in Rama 9 Road and is a fairly new train market in Bangkok. Parang 2021 yata siya nagbukas. Mas malinis siyang tingnan compared to the train market that we went to last time we visited Thailand which I believe was called Ratchada train market. Yeah. Finally, after our tummies and eyes are filled, hinatid na ako ng mag-asawa sa hotel ko which was located fairly close lang kung saan din sila nagsistay. Surprisingly, the hotel room was a big studio room considering na mura lang siya, around 890 baht or roughly 1,500 pesos. 